to get to our experiment of the day, so let me explain what our experiment is going to be. So I am going to get an ice cube, which is frozen water. I'm going to get an ice cube. You probably have some at your house, or you've gotten one when you go out to eat before, or something like that. And I'm going to get an ice cube, and I'm going to think about the properties of an ice cube. Okay, so I'm thinking about what do I see? What color is it? What do I smell? Can I smell anything from it? What do I hear? Can I hear anything from it? Um, what do I taste? Do I taste anything from it? And lastly, um, can I touch it? When I touch it, is it soft? Is it cold? Is it hot? What does it feel like? So I'm going to need you to get your journal. And we're going to do a little activity before the actual experiment because we want to use our brains to start thinking about what might happen in this experiment. So go ahead and get your journal and you're going to draw a line down the middle of the page. Okay? And next we're going to write the word before. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. B E F O-R-E, before. Now on the other side of the line, I'm going to write the word after. After. A-F-T-E-R. And then I'm going to draw a line underneath these words. And now I have a T-chart. So I want you to use your brain right now. Think about what an ice cube looks like when you just get it out of the freezer. I'm going to show you one, but I want you to think about what it might look like before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking, thinking what it might look like, and I'm going to draw that picture. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm going to think about five ways to describe it. So one word that I might use is coming out of the freezer. So I know it's going to be cold. Two, is it soft or hard? It's hard. Ice cubes are hard. Um, when you rub your hand across an ice cube, does it feel smooth and your hand can just easily pass over it? Or is it scratchy and stiff? It's smooth. An ice cube is going to be smooth. So I'm going to put smooth. S-M-O-O-T-H. Four. I'm going to think about the color. Now I know I drew it blue, but I didn't color the whole thing in. Do you know what that color is when you can see through it? It's kind of like a window. It's called clear. Or you might know the word, this is a big word, transparent. That's also a word for clear. But you can just put the word clear. C L E A R. And then I need one more word to describe my ice cube. So, can I smell an ice cube? Does it have a smell? No, not really. Um, does it have a taste? I guess kind of. It tastes like water, but I don't know how you would describe it. But let's think about the shape. What kind of ice cube shape is this? So this is a square, right? So we're gonna put square. S Q U A R E. Okay, and now we're gonna do the experiment and we're gonna leave the after side blank because you've gotta watch the experiment and the heat of a hairdryer go on to the ice cube and we're going to see what happens. So let me 
me go get my materials. I'll be back soon. Okay guys, so now I have my ice cubes. And actually, they're a heart shape, so we could change the square to heart, but um, we'll worry about that later. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of the ice cubes. So if you can see it, I'm going to push it closer so you can actually see the ice cube and not my face. Okay, pull out another one. And we'll do one more. All right, so you can see that the ice cube is hard. Um, it's very cold. It's cold in my hand. It's very cold. It makes my hands cold. And um, you can also see that color I was talking about. It's a transparent or clear, so that means you can see through it. So now it's also smooth. I can run my finger across it very easily. And the shape is actually a heart, so we have a fun one. Um, so now I'm going to use that hair dryer. Maybe you've seen your mom use one of these, or maybe you use one to dry your hair when it's wet. Um, so I'm going to use this hair dryer on these heart ice cubes, and we're going to watch and see what happens. So make sure you can see. I'm going to tilt this a little so that you can see better. And here we go. Whoa! I gotta go easy. Let me put this guy back. Can you see the water? So the hair dryer is very hot. Now they're slipping and sliding around. I don't know if you can see it, but there's water all over the top of this bucket. This one's getting a lot smaller. The heat is changing it from the beginning. I'll focus on this guy so it doesn't take too long. Getting really small now. You see the water all over the top of the bucket? That's what heat does. So, if you can see, these I didn't do quite as much, but this guy is pretty much all melted. So he started out as a solid, something that you can touch, like these friends, and now he's all water. He's all melted, and he's turned into this, this water right here is called a liquid. 
So the heat has changed the ice cube from something hard and solid to a liquid that runs everywhere that you could drink or jump into. So now we're going to go back to our chart and we're going to draw what happened to the ice cube. So I'm going to take you back over where you can see my chart. Okay, so now I'm going to draw what happened and how my ice cube looked after we put the hair dryer on it. So it did not look like this, okay? So you're going to draw how you think it looked. I think it kind of looked like a puddle. If you want to color it, you can color it. It's all melted.